everyone. Welcome to another executive interview. We are here today at the Future Disruptive Investment Conference and I'm joined today by Dr. Richard Johnson, the founder and CEO of ClearEd, an innovative Australian fintech startup that is revolutionizing B2B payments through cashless invoice settlements powered by AI ML technology. Welcome, Richard. Great to have you here today. Thank you. Nice to be here. Amazing. Now, Richard, to begin our interview, now ClearEd targets a substantial market opportunity in B2B payments, which is estimated at $4 billion annually in Australia. So could you elaborate on how the current market landscape aligns with ClearEd's entry and how the timing is favorable for exponential growth? Yes, uh, I can. Uh, the market is, is substantial. People have called it the biggest upside they've come across. Uh, and that is because nobody's really tapped into this uh, B2B payment space properly. It's, uh, it's $4 trillion every year going through that market of, in payments. And, and our solution will offer something new to that market. And we think that uh, once we get off the ground, uh, everybody will, uh, will want to um, use this service uh, so we can really uh, as quickly as possible to grow into that market because we do have network effects yes. on our side, just like social media and so on. That Once it, we get the traction, it starts spreading by itself. Amazing. Now, with legacy industries uh, like invoice financing and business banking in your side, so how does ClearEd actually differentiate itself to create a competitive edge and disrupt this trillion dollar sectors? Yeah, they are mostly solutions to the in the current framework, so to speak, where they solve the problem for a, a single company. Right. Uh, when a company needs cash, they they provide it, uh, and they do it. And, and there are a lot of startups in that space, uh, but they all also come at a very high cost, so it's not available to everybody. Not everybody can afford it. What we do instead is to take away the need for cash. And in that way, we we can offer something that uh, you to make it you know, do business without as much cash, yes. which nobody really has offered uh, to the market so far. I understand. Now, could you walk us through the revenue streams and how ClearEd's innovative business model ensures sustainable growth, especially concerning monetizing B2B network data? Yes. Um, well, we can first say that with, that with that offsetting of payments that we are doing, we're taking a a small percentage of that, 0.1%, which means that if we can offset $10,000 that you don't need to pay, we get $10 for that. So very, very affordable for the user. So that's one part of the service. They're much cheaper than going and borrowing money and paying interest rates and all that. Mm. So that's part of it. And the other part you ask about is the, this network. How can we monetize that? Well, already from the start now, we uh, are doing uh, cash flow checks on these companies, uh, which so we know more about these companies than any other company does in the market. You know, so you have credit checks companies and so on. Right. The banks they might use uh, six months old data when they, uh, you know, approve applications for credit and so on. But we have live data, so we have a lot of of things in the network that nobody has really looked into because nobody has really mapped it out yet. I understand. Now, considering the fintech sector's regulatory dynamics, how does ClearEd navigate compliance challenges and mitigate potential risks in its expansion plans? Yeah, like any financial services company with payments and so on, uh, of course, uh, the basics are KYC requirements, uh, money laundering requirements. Uh, but apart from that, I have uh, been up, uh, I sat down with the current uh, governor of the Reserve Bank of Australia to talk about this. Uh, so it's all uh, been cleared from the top and their view of this uh, because they are normally in that clearing space for the banks and we're doing clearing for, uh, for normal businesses. But then, of course, the regulatory environment changes all the time. So we do expect uh, things to, to pop up down the line for us that we need yeah. to deal with. But it's the same all over the world. And, and Australia is actually one of the more easy um, places to navigate for us. So. Amazing. Now, as a parting question, looking ahead, what is the long-term uh, vision for ClearEd? And could you also shed some light on potential exit strategies for investors, considering the possibilities of acquisition or an IPO within the next three to five years? Yes. So let's say first that uh, Australia was the only place that existed in the world that would be big enough for us. We have a you know a total uh, addressable market of, uh, of billions of dollars every year. Yes. So that would be enough for us to grow into a very, very big company. Uh, but we also have our eyes on the overseas markets. So we're already looking at, uh, you know, I'm, I uh, come from Europe, so I've already looked into that and my connections over there. The licensing, we're speaking to, to investment banks in America already, because we know that as soon as we can nail this market here, we, yeah. we want to go abroad. We want to bring this to everybody everywhere in the world. So. 
amazing. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Richard, for yeah. coming on for this interview and sharing wonderful insights about you and the team. The sorry, the work that you and your team are doing. Okay. And for everyone watching, if you would like to get in touch with the team at Clear Red, please see the details at the side of the screen or in the description of this video. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next interview. Thank you.